All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here uh, on the show, and um, here to talk about uh, Monday Night Raw um, tonight. And I thought it was a pretty good show, a good go home show, uh, leading up to SummerSlam uh, this weekend. So we're gonna break it all down, what happened. And talk about it. So let's get into it. I'm for SummerSlam to be honest. Uh, Roman comeback should be, it's, it's going to be very exciting. But the show was good, was good tonight. Like, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was good. But it's kind of the typical go home show. They don't do anything that crazy. I feel like Raw's been, was uh, good tonight. I mean, you know, there's a lot of video packages tonight and matches to tie the show over, but it does feel like they just ran out of things to say and now just coasting it like they do always do for the go home show. Nothing crazy. There's definitely some good stuff here and there, mostly story wise. Southern Slam should be very fun. Uh, but it was kind of your typical go home show. A lot of video packages and vignettes tonight. No further advancements in stories, but that'll happen at SummerSlam. They're not, not going to do anything crazy. Uh, but Drew McIntyre and CM Punk come face-to-face -face with uh, Seth Rollins with the, his referee instructions. And uh, the White Six will be wrestling next week. You saw the White Six unmasked. You saw Joe Gacy. You saw Eric Rowan. And Dexter Loomis, I think. I think it was Dexter Loomis. Um, but I mean, why would they do anything that crazy? It's why people were so unrealistic wrestling fans sometimes. They're not going to do sh crazy shit um, the, on the Go Home Show. Why would it? There's no need for advance and storyline since it's SummerSlam week. You'll, you'll just be patient and wait for SummerSlam. You can wait a few days. Um, but I'm glad they pulled the trigger that he did and uh, finally gave some in-ring in -ring, in -ring action with the White Six crew. And we will also see them now as they will wrestle with no mask but face paint and some makeup, which I think is pretty cool. They aren't on SummerSlam though and doing a match on Raw. I don't think it's a strange decision because you already will have, what, seven matches at SummerSlam. I don't know if you need to add an eighth match. And I don't think it was getting boring. With the vignettes and stuff like that. I, I thought it was pretty good, but I'm glad they're doing in-ring stuff now. Uh, the... I thought most of some most of the stuff was good tonight. So the one thing I really don't care about on this show was... Karrion Cross, man. Dude gets no fucking reaction. He, he had to bring up Minnesota as a dunk just to get a fucking cheap pop. That dude can't get a pop to save his life. He has to rely on a fucking cheap pop. Alright. Um, what the fuck? There's my notes here, so. Um, so, we start off the show with Seth Rollins coming out doing his. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, CM Punk, Drew McIntyre. Uh, basically giving the referee instructions. And basically. But I guess just to sum, sum it up so I don't have to yap uh, for a while. Is basically to follow his instructions, I guess. He'll count the. He said when he counts to three, he'll count to three. When he, will there be any count outs? He said, mm, don't know. Could count to ten, count to twenty, count to a million. Good segment to open the show. Uh, some good promo work from all three of them, and it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. I think this match is gonna be really good, especially just the story and Seth Rollins is the referee. I don't know who's gonna win this match, honestly. I really don't. I mean, I have a feeling Drew McIntyre, but who who knows at this point? Because I think it's pretty pretty unpredictable. Um, then next we got Otis and Tazawa versus uh, the Creed Brothers. Obviously, the Creed Brothers get the win with the help of Chad uh, with the help of Chad Gable. Damn it! Oh.
Oh, sorry, I was seeing the uh, Snapchat, and I forgot, I, for I didn't know I wasn't recording. Pendeo face. Um, but yeah, as I wanted to also wanted to say, um, with the Otis and the Zawa, I mean, I just wish they would have pushed, done a solo match with uh, Otis and Chad Gable instead of just, Triple H just never pulled the trigger on it. But with the Creed brothers, they obviously got the win over the Whites, over the uh, over Otis and Tazawa. And they were beating the shell match for match. Here come the White Six. They were walking down the ring. They unmasked. That was that was that was so cool, man. Seeing them unmask. I thought they were wrestling mask. I don't know why, but they're not. They're gonna be wrestling with no mask. So and then they um, beat the shit out of the Creed brothers and Chad Gable. End of that. Sheamus versus Bronson Reed. Uh, Bronson Reed gets the win over Sheamus because of um, uh, Pete Dunn uh, hitting him with something. I don't know what it was. Hit him with something. He hits the tsunami. Prayers for Sheamus. That big body. That big body beat up big Bronson Reed. Big Bronson Reed. But yeah, it was a pretty good match. Sheamus, who delivers bangers every every fucking time he's out there, delivers a banger match. Him and Bronson Reed are so underrated. Put on a banger. And then we got a video pack for Damian Priest. Another good video pack for Damian Priest. They're building up this this title match very well. I know a lot of people including me weren't as excited at first, but I think these two are going to deliver a banger. I really do. And they also had a brawl at the end of the show. Uh, Jey Uso versus Carlito. I guess as they try and solve the Jey Uso problem. Uh, Jey Uso beats Carlito. And a solid match, I guess. Love Jey Uso. Yeet. Um, next, the Miz and R-Truth had a segment. The Miz announced um, he would be uh, the host for SummerSlam. He would be the host in um, his hometown in Cleveland. In his house in Cleveland, R-Truth said, What's up, dog? He said, You're going to have SummerSlam hosting in your house? <laughs> R-Truth is so funny, man. Um, yeah, but that's, uh, that's cool for the Miz to be the host of SummerSlam in his hometown. And uh, then we had uh, Xavier Woods versus Karrion Cross. Oh, sorry, I fell asleep. It, it, I fell asleep. Karrion Cross was on the TV screen. I just don't care for Karrion Cross, man. He doesn't get a pop. He doesn't excite me. It's just when Triple H or uh, when uh, Vince McMahon buried him, there's no, there's no saving him. I'm sorry. Just not interested. Not interested. Don't care. He beats Xavier Woods. Woo. And then Liv Morgan has the same, and that's psychotic. Liv Morgan runs gonna be cinema pal. It's gonna be cinema pal. Uh, it's gonna be that's gonna be a good match at SummerSlam. Uh, Sami Zayn versus Don Mysterio. Sami Zayn gets the win with, and then um, after the match or gets the win via DQ, Jason comes out. Uh, Takes out Judgment Day, Sammy, Sammy and Breaker, brought for the match. Sammy Zayn, surprisingly, I guess uh, this week, looks strong. So that, that kind of tells me Braun Breaker might come out of SummerSlam's champion. Then a white six tape. I did not think um, Dexter Loomis. What the fuck is happening here tonight? Um, I didn't think uh, Dexter Loomis. Um, he looked crazy with the dreads. I did not expect... expect Rowan, Gacy, and Loomis to unmask. I really didn't. Like, they finally did something something else with them. I didn't think they were going to do anything. But this confirms they'll wrestle with no mask. Besides the debut, I thought this was, could have been their best segment uh, so far. Tummy! And then we had uh, Lyra Valkyria, Kane, Kane Carr, and Katana Chance uh, versus Zoe Stark, Sonya, Sonya Deville, and Shane Baszler. I think Lyra actually got knocked out because she was. I, I, did she get knocked out or something? Um, what's what? What does somebody have against her? She's knocked her out. Uh, sandbagged her last week and knocked her out this week. So, but yeah, they uh, Lyra, Kate, and Katana uh, got the win. Not them as a group. They're cool. And then Gunther uh, beats Finn Balor in a solid main, a pretty good, and a good main event. And then a uh, priest and Gunther brawl to end the show, basically. So I give it to nine eight out of ten. I thought it was I thought it was a good show. 
I don't think it was a bad show. I thought it was a good show. So, yeah, it's really all I'm going to say uh, for tonight. So, um, I'll see you guys for my next wrestling review on Friday for SmackDown, the the night before SummerSlam to go home shot. I don't think anything important special is going to happen, but, you know, what? I'll recap SmackDown anyways. But, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Peace.